Hello everyone, welcome to my new After Effects tutorials. Today I am going to create this simple line graph animation by using Null from Path Presets. First create a new composition. I am calling it main with the resolution as 1920 by 1080 pixels and the duration to 5 seconds and then hit OK. First, I will create a shape line with 7 points by using pen tools. Select the shape path by expanding shape contents preset. With selecting the path preset, go to window menu, and choose Create Nulls from Paths Preset. The path window appear, choose Points to follow Nulls option and close the window. Now you can see there are 7 null layers created automatically and we can set animation for each points individually of the line shape. Select all created null layers and align to set equal space between each null points and hide by clicking the eye icon beside the layers. Next to indicate the coordinate point of the line graph. Create an ellipse shape by enabling fill color and hiding stroke of it. Now I'm going to parent the created ellipse position with null position. First, select all null layers and press P to see the position presets. Also expand the position preset from the ellipse layer and click position timer by pressing ALT key from the keyboard. Here I will parent the ellipse layer position with first null layer. Now you can see the ellipse shape coincident with the null layer position. Now make a duplicate of the ellipse layer and move next to the first null shape layer and continue the same for all 7 points. To shorten the number of layers I will hide the ellipse layers by clicking the shy icon from the toggle switches, and hide all layers which I switch is set. Now you can see the ellipse layers are disappeared, but we can bring it back when needed. Next I will create a solid layer and I am calling it num, and hit OK. Then go to effects and presets, and type numbers then apply the selected presets to the num layer. With pop up numbers window, click center option and hit ok. From the numbers presets setting, set the decimal places to zero, and font color to white. Next I will coincide the numbers with the null position, where I did the same for ellipse shape layer. Then click ALT plus position preset timer from the number layer. Then parent the number position with null layers position value. I will repeat the same for all remaining null layers. Now you can see when I am moving the Y position value of the null, 
ellipse layer and the number layers are moving simultaneously. Next I will create a keyframe for all null layers by clicking the position value. Then move to around 30 frames by clicking Ctrl plus Shift plus right arrow key, and then change the Y position values. I will repeat the same for all null layers position where I want the line coordinates to move up and down. But I forgot. Here I have to set the initial keyframes from the zero values, so by default I will set all the initial Y position keyframes value to 1000, hence I can set the line to starting from their zero up to the desired position. Now I will continue the Y position of the lines, but you can set your own values here. Select all layers and easy ease them. Now you can see our final line graph animation. I will separate the X and Y dimensions of the null layer position values. When we change the number value from the number preset format, the displaying value also changing. But we need this number values coincide with the Y position value of the null layers when moving. Then I will click Alt plus Timer from the format preset settings. Now we can parent the number value with null layer Y position values. But here we have a problem the value should be start from zero for that I will adjust the expression by deducting 1000. Hence we can set the start value from zero. I will continue the same for all remaining null layers. Now you can see the line graph with the Y values of the null layers. Now I will create a new composition and I will name it as final and hit OK. Then create a new solid to our background and name it BG. Then go effects and preset and choose gradient ramp and apply to our BG layer. Then set the background design as I am doing to complete our animation. Place the main composition to the final composition. Draw the X and Y axis.
here I and see the numbers with our background so I prefer to change the BG color again. Now it's look good to me. And here we have completed our tutorials. Thank you for watching and see you next week. If you like my tutorials, please hit the like and subscribe button for more exciting future tutorials. Have a nice day.